Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks Tips with EC QuickBooks Training. And in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to work with finance charge for QuickBooks. Now, the first thing we want to do, if we're going to do, um, if we're going to charge a customary finance charge, we need to go to Edit Preferences, Finance Charge, Company Preferences. Now, the way QuickBooks handles the finance charge is using this formula number of days past due times balance due times rate divided by 365 so in here in the company preferences you want to put your annual interest rate so I'm just gonna put um, I don't know 1% um, the minimum finance charge that we're going to charge um, is at least $10 the grace period that we're gonna give the customer is I'm gonna say five days and where it says finance charge we need to enter the interest income so we're gonna put interest income and we're gonna do it on the due date okay so that's how you set up the finance charge now let's click OK now let's go and assess those finance charges for a customer so we're going to go to customers assess finance charges and here we have two customers that are late in their payment I'm just going to select this one for now so this is an old 2013 invoice and the total finance charge based on what we've entered is sixty eight dollars and forty nine cents so we're going to assess that charge I'm going to click assess charges finance charges have already been assessed today do you want to continue we'll click okay. yes and then we are going to go to the customer and let's look at this customer let's see finance charges right here 6849 now if we go back to assess finance charges as you can see the minimum is ten dollars that's what we had stated in the um, preferences but we can always change it if we need to let's say that we're off by a penny or two or a dollar on our uh, finance charges or there's a different calculation you can always change it um, and then assess the finance charge now let's hit cancel now if we're ready to accept payment let's go to receive payment when the check comes in then we can apply the ten thousand sixty eight forty nine that they're paying we can see the ten thousand there and the sixty eight forty nine that way if there is no finance charge here it won't tell us to leave it as a credit or refund the customer we will definitely have a uh, finance charge invoice here entered okay and that's how you do a finance charging QuickBooks. Please subscribe to our video or you can go to ecquickbookstraining.com to go um, get more free tutorials. Thank you.